Welcome back to the weekend show. <laughs> Joining me right now, my guest host for the day, Fidel Osagele, aka Fidel Castro. Maybe I should be clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah. Welcome. Why Fidel Castro? Uh, maybe because of my afro and my beard. You know, it's always been like this. So my friends just added Castro to it. Castro to it. Yeah. Okay, Castro. Uh, joining Castro and I in today's program, we have none other than a very gorgeous, intelligent, sophisticated young lady. Her name is Anuli Olani. She's the founder of Air Women. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Osasa. Good morning. Fidel. Good morning. Thank you. We're so you? pleased to have you here. The discussion today is New Year resolutions. We all know at the top of the year, oh. we always set this sometimes impossible resolutions that we hope to accomplish um, uh, within the year. The New Year resolutions I set for 2018, I think I've accomplished five out of 10. Ooh. And honestly, I'm passing myself on the back because typically it's about one or two. Because <laughs> I write things like I want a million dollars in my bank account. I want this. I, I write things that are truly not measurable. But uh, this, this leading into 2018, I said to myself, okay, let me actually write things that I know that I can actually work to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Five out of ten I don't think was too bad for me. So how about you? Do you believe uh, that New Year resolution helps in motivating you to accomplish certain goals or do you believe they're simply a waste of time? Oh no, no, no. I don't think they're a waste of time at all. Mm. They would definitely propel you to accomplish something. I think one thing is that, that, that word resolution has just, has just become very difficult for people to actually imbibe and live through. So rather than me saying, this is my new year resolution, I would say things like, what do I want to do better? Um, what, what do I want to be better at to this year? What do I want to do better this year? So I think it's a must have for everyone, mm. actually. Everybody should try and have a list of things you want to do better. <laughs> Let's not okay. call it resolution. But can I, I mean, like, people like me who would write 10... I mean, last year was $1 million. This year was $1 million. Next year is going to be about $10 million. So do we keep writing that hoping <coughs> it happens, or...? The thing is, I, I don't even think we should stop writing. I think it was Jim Carrey who wrote himself a check of a mm. billion dollars or something, and he put it in his wallet. Mm. And I, he probably forgot about it, but he had always been there. But the thing I think he did differently, which I think you and a lot of us are doing differently, is that understanding that there are things we need to do to get to that point. It's not yeah. going to fall from the sky. Yes. Yes. You know, so resolutions, one area I feel people don't want to embrace about resolutions is the challenges mm -hmm. that it's going to take to actually get there. Mm -hmm. Now, you've gotten five out of ten. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. But if you do get one or two, it's also amazing. Mm -hmm. And I do not think, oh, so I'm sure you need to get to that. <laughs> that Honestly, I, I pray. <laughs> Castro, I have the 25... <laughs> <laughs> $25 billion check in my wallet. I just need to know when to cash it, you know. So I'm also letting all of you know. You know right? yeah. Coincidentally, <laughs> I mean, I seem to be the old one out here. I, I started, I, I mean, I used to write resolutions when I was much younger. Now, you two write resolutions. Let me ask you, um, tell us about your resolution this year, you know, uh, last year's res resolution and the ones you were able to achieve and how you were able to achieve them. Oh, absolutely. Um, so I'm always big on writing down what I need to achieve. And I categorize my resolution based on different areas of my life. So my age, family, children, uh, my siblings, relationship with my in-laws, my friends, personal development, my social enterprise, gave back to the community, travel, turn up. <laughs> so I Very have, important. <laughs> I have six different ones, right? And then... One thing I wanted to do this year was read more. Let me use as an example. Mm. I wanted to, I read novels, I normally, but getting myself to read on my own was challenging for me. Mm -hmm. So I spoke about it to a friend of mine, which is something I encourage people to do. I wrote it down and I spoke about it to a friend of mine that, listen, I actually want to read more. And she says, oh, hang on, you, I have a book club I attend. I'm like, yeah, okay then, can I be a member of your book club? Mm. Now, the book club is challenging. Why? Because I have to attend once a week. I have to pay dues, which is challenges I'm talking about people embracing. But I did that. But because she was there to also help me, I was able to do that. So mm. now, by month 12, I've read 12 additional books wow. in the month of 2018. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's something that I, that I actually um, accomplished. And then another thing I wanted to do was go out more. I haven't really achieved that going out more, I must be honest. I remember one time, <laughs> Sasa had called me like twice, like, let's hang out here, let's hang out here. You know, and then... 
all of us, I think she realized that, hang on, this summer, you're not achieving that resolution. It's like, <laughs> how old is your child? <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> so as, as I sat here, I was like, let's have breakfast later. I'm like, yes, I will. So my lifestyle, my going out in the evening lifestyle, I haven't really achieved it, but it's in my resolution plan. But I've been able to go to a movie twice this year. Oh. Last year, I went once. Mm. That's an achievement. So what am I trying to say? I have pockets of places that I need to achieve things in, right? My health, I want to walk two kilometers three times in a week. Not every day. I'm not a member of a gym. Mm. But I want to do the soup. But I, sometimes I walk one kilometers. Sometimes I walk two. Sometimes I walk three. And I said, to be able to calculate my calorie, I'm going to get something that's like a Fitbit. So I have a misfit here calculating my calories. Mm -hmm. It's challenging because I have to pay for to wear it and I have to calculate, mm. count it. So those are the things I have achieved. There's so many other things like networking that I've achieved, push myself out more to go for seminars and events, which, you know, I've run into or a lot of times and we sit there and we have a natter. It's inconvenienting for me to do that. I want to go home and lie down and sleep. Mm. But one thing I believe that we need to embrace for resolution is that it will come with challenges. That is the realistic part. So those are the I few things. The major takeaway um, from your story is the fact that when you set goals, you also set procedures, processes on how to accomplish it. Absolutely. You know, and I think that's a major thing when it comes to New Year resolution. You'd be like me and say you want to make a million dollars or $25 billion check written in your wallet. But how are you going to accomplish that? And also being uh, lenient on yourself, knowing that it's not going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. So I joke all the time that, yes, I want to get a million dollars now or I want to get $25 million. I know it's not going to happen overnight. I know I have to put in the work. It's going to take... It's on my New Year resolution list, but I will keep on putting it on there until I actually attain that. You know, so it's not going to happen in, it might not happen in a year, it might not happen in two years, but just the fact that it's always in your foresight, or it's the fact that you can always see it, it's always a goal that you've set for yourself and you set processes and procedures on how you're going to get to that place. Absolutely. And I think that's a major takeaway from oh, today's, yes. oh, today's yes. You program. always have to have a plan. For me, every resolution is valid. Mm -hmm. If it is that you say, I want to stop sleeping past five I want to wake up at 6 a.m. every day. And you normally, you know, mm -hmm. wake up at 7. Or you want to get to office early. Or you want to stop, stop abusing people on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You know? There's every, every, That's a good one for every, a lot of Nigerians. Res every <laughs> resolution is valid. Yeah. Just like you said, you need to put a plan in place. How do I stop doing this? Be realistic to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to use, you know, you or, or your own personality to plan how I would achieve my own resolution. I have a percentage. I have a way I do things. Mm -hmm. I need to look in what's understand those things that are not necessarily helping me move forward and try and make sure they try and make it better. And I really think you should ask for advice. People have done it before. I have spoken to Osasu. I said, Osasu, I want to be able to do one or two things. I'm coming to you for advice. People should not feel, you know, shy or belittled or ashamed to meet someone to say, I need you to help me in this area be ready to put in the work so put in a plan put in a process i already have written written things down for 2019. i'm, I'm writing already let's look at this tradition you know new year resolutions um how did it even start i know it's really good to start on a clean slate i know it's good to set targets for yourself like i'm doing right now uh, getting married is one for me but oh. now let's look at the, <laughs> let's look at this tradition how did it really start and what is the significance you know of following through so that's a really good question how resolution started i don't know who started it but i thank god for whoever started it because i find out that <clears throat> when you look ahead and see people who are doing let me say better in a special let me not say doing better people who are accomplishing things that you want to accomplish you look at them and wonder why can't I do that? Why can't I do this? You know, um, they must have gotten it from somewhere. Maybe, like I said, if, if we say resolution, it seems a little bit too funny. They want to do better. People keep saying that if you want to be a better leader, you got to read. You have to be able to read. Read more you know, books. You have readers to read. are leaders. <laughs> yeah. Readers are leaders. So if I look at somebody and I want to be like that person, and that person has done something better than I have, I would follow through with that person. I don't mm. know why the person did. I don't know who defined it. I know who created it. But I want to believe that our maker, you know, is a great person to use as an example. He decided to create the world and do this in, in six days and he decided to do that. So if he's a creator the whole world in six, six days and he says we should rest on, on the seventh, he must know what he's doing. So he mm. set the first resolution. But he did that with accountability. He called 
you know, Jesus Christ when he called Holy Spirit and said, come on, guys, let's do this. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> hey, Jay. <laughs> hey, Holy <host. Hey>, yeah. <laughs> let's, let, let's get this done. And I'm, I'm sure they had a conversation. I remember, because I always think to myself that God didn't say, oh, let us make the fish and all the sea animals and keep them on land, and then we can go and create the water. No. He said, let's do the water. And then we can create the fish and put it inside. So that, like you said, there's a plan and a process. So I, I want to answer that question finally, is to say that I believe he is the one that wants us to do better. Iron sharpens iron, like he says. You always want to do better. You always want to be better. And even in, he also says that, you know, you need to write the vision and make it plain so that whoever sees it will run with it. Mm. So I, I would really give all, all, all that accolade to the man mm. <laughs> are upstairs for starting. Very that. lastly, Anuli, do you <clears throat> think people need to wait? Because to, today is uh, December 29th. Do you think people have to wait till January 1st to make those resolutions or do they start now? Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I think they should have started. Honestly, like around October, November, mm. you should really be looking at what you should do the following year, in my own personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I have a few things, not all of it written. For example, in terms of going out more, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have that rating that I'm going to be going out more, more intellectual going out. I mean. mm -hmm. And then things like um, spending more time with myself. I haven't really done vacation this year. I've only done one, honestly. Mm. So I've written it down because for tickets, you know, you've got to plan ahead. <laughs> 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 so no, don't wait till December. Uh -huh. to, don't wait till 35 when they say, oh, happy new year. And, yeah, and, like, like, oh. and then done. they say, no, no, no. From October, November, December. Mm. If you haven't written it now, don't even feel bad. Go back, write it down and just follow it. But think, another thing I'd like to mention is consistency. Mm. You really, really need to be consistent. It doesn't really matter how it is. Do something little at any point in time to ensure that you are moving yourself forward and towards achieving that resolution. Well, you've heard it here. I didn't think Castro believed in resolution, so I really started talking and he's been writing yeah. the entire show. Yes. I see marriage. I see million dollars. <laughs> So if you're home, follow suit, to write down your New Year resolutions, write down the processes, the plans you would hope to use to attain this New Year resolution, yeah. and most importantly, be consistent. We'll take a short break right now and return the political segment of the weekend show. Don't go anywhere. Wish everyone out there Happy Christmas and Merry New Year. So my name is Jack Ward. And I wish everyone Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Hello people, my name is Miwa. Yes, so I'm here to wish you Merry Christmas and the best of a prosperous New Year. I love you. Bye. Hello, my name is Evelyn and I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Kisses. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Abuja. Hey yo, what's good man? You already know this is DJ Neptune, the father's DJ ever living in all of Africa. And I'm wishing you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year on the weekend show. This. What up people? I go by the name DJ Big and when you're big, you're big, I beg. Shout out to the weekend show. Do not talk that down. I want to wish everybody, I don't call them fans, I don't call them followers. I call them supporters and my family. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 